Hi everyone, welcome back to Magic Bullet. Today, I'm excited to guide you through an amazing IoT project where we control home accessories using a Raspberry Pi and the Django framework. We'll create a web application to toggle LEDs, making home automation simple and accessible. So let's dive in. The source code for this project is available on my GitHub and the link is in the description below. For this project, we'll need a Raspberry Pi board, some LEDs, 220 ohm resistors, a breadboard, and jumper wires. Now let's move on to the circuit diagram. Connect a green LED to GPIO pin 8 on the Raspberry Pi through a 220 ohm resistor. Connect a red LED to GPIO pin 10. With the hardware setup complete, let's move on. First, let's open a terminal and create a directory for our project on the desktop. You can create it wherever you want. I'll choose the desktop. We'll name it Raspy Web App. Then change the directory to the Raspy Web App. Next, we'll create a virtual environment using Python VENV. Then activate the virtual environment. This helps keep our project dependencies isolated. With our virtual environment activated, we'll install Django by typing pip install Django. Now, we'll start a new Django project named Smart Home by typing Django admin start project Smart Home. Then, we'll create an app named Control by typing Django admin start app control. We've successfully created a new Django project. Let's close the terminal. Next, open Visual Studio Code and navigate to the Raspy Web App folder to open the project. In the settings.py file, we'll add our control app to the installed apps list. We'll also allow all hosts by adding an asterisk to the allowed hosts list. Adding the control app in installed apps allows Django to recognize it as part of our project. Open a new terminal in Visual Studio Code and run the Django development server to ensure everything is set up correctly. Type python manage.py run server to run the development server. Now that the development server has started successfully at localhost, let's copy the address. Open a web browser and navigate to the default Django web page. Congratulations, we've successfully created our project and app. Now, let's define our accessory model. In models.py of the control app, we'll create a model named accessory. We add the accessory name, pin number, status, and verbose name plural fields to define the GPIO pin number, the status of the accessory, and the plural name for our model in the admin interface. Next, let's create and apply the migrations to set up our database. Open the terminal and type python manage.py make migrations, then press enter. Next, type python manage.py migrate, then press enter. All migrations are applied to the database successfully. We'll now set up our templates and static files. Create a templates folder inside the control app and add accessory list.html. Also create a static folder inside the control app and add style.css. Next, add these styles to the style.css file. Next, add this HTML code to the accessory list.html file. This HTML code loads the static files and displays the list of accessories with their current status. All right, let's set up the view functions. Before we continue, we need to install RPI GPIO. Type pip install RPI GPIO and press enter. RPI GPIO is successfully installed. All right, let's set up the view functions. 
Import the accessory model. Import the RPI GPIO library to interact with the GPIO pins. Set GPIO warnings to false to disable GPIO warnings. Set the GPIO mode to board using physical pin numbers. Retrieve all accessories from the database and loop through each accessory to set up the GPIO pins. Set up each pin as an output and set the pin high or low based on the accessory's status. Define a function to display the list of accessories and render the accessory list.html template with the accessories context. Next, we'll configure our URLs. Open urls.py in the Smart Home project and add the paths. Import the views from the control app. Map the root URL to the accessory list view. These URL patterns map the URLs to our views, enabling navigation and interaction with the app. All right, let's move on. Open the terminal and run the server. Now you should see the accessory list page. If the page is empty, it's because we didn't add any accessories yet. Press Ctrl C to stop the development server. Open views.py of the control app and define a toggle accessory function to toggle the accessory's status. Import get object or 404 and redirect functions for handling 404 errors and redirects. Get the accessory by ID or return a 404 error if the accessory doesn't exist. Toggle the accessory's status and save the updated status to the database. Set the GPIO pin high or low based on the accessory's status. Let's run the server again. Open the admin panel by typing slash admin. You need to log into the admin panel. To do so, create a super user by opening the terminal and typing python manage.py, create super user, and press enter. Provide a username, email, and password as desired. You have successfully created a super user. Let's start the server again. Log in to the admin panel using the username and password you just created. Now the accessory model is not registered in the admin panel. We need to register it. Open admin.py of the control app and register our model. Import the accessory model. Register the accessory model with the admin site. Define an admin class for the accessory model and specify the fields to display in the admin list view. This allows us to manage accessories through the Django admin interface. Save the file, open the admin panel, and refresh the page. As you can see now, the accessory table has appeared on the admin panel. Perfect, let's add an accessory. I've added an accessory named fan with pin number eight. Refresh the accessory list. Oh, we encountered an error, reverse for toggle accessory not found. This error is due to a missing path for the toggle accessory view. Let's open urls.py of the Smart Home project and map the toggle URL to the toggle accessory view. Save the file and run the server. Oh no, another error, reverse for accessory list not found. This error is due to a typo. Let's correct it. Save the file and refresh the page. Now we can toggle the accessory and our application is working as expected. Let's add new accessories. Go to the admin panel and add an accessory named green LED with pin number eight. Add another accessory, red LED, with pin number 10. Open the accessory list. As you can see, the LEDs are turning on and off as expected when toggled. If you want to access the web app from another device, we need the IP address or host name of the Raspberry Pi. Ensure our server is accessible over the local network. In the terminal, type 
hostname dash i. This command shows the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Run the server with python manage.py run server 0.0.0.0.8000. Open a web browser from any other device and enter the IP address and port number as 8000. You should now be able to control your home accessories from any device on the same network. Thank you for watching this tutorial on creating a home automation system with Raspberry Pi and Django. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting projects, and I'll see you in the next video.